So my previous opponent, Prescott, wanted a rematch, and um, as there were really no other people to join, I figured I'd do it. But I'll probably bring stuff in um, more unique to this game. Hope it does the same. Yeah, Glisco, nice. They usually do that anyway, so it's not like I'm surprised, it's rather, well, how about that? <laughs> Alright, I need a gunk shot to connect and a poison to rack on, and hope that our earth power is not terrifying. Sun Team is kinda... Or since Drizzle got banned, I'm inherently thinking that Sun Teams are really, really superior. In a lot of ways. See, gunk shot will do... Come on, leave 30% of the lease. Yeah, you know what? That works. Poison? Pfft. One day to job, right? Here we go. Stealth rocks. We're gonna wheel this guy down. We're gonna go down, buddy. You're on a fucking timer. You know what that means? It fucking hurt you. Um. Let's see. I do have default, which is great. We're gonna capitalize on that. Um. They do tend to have John, which is something I do not enjoy. But I'm half expecting Earth Power. This sound, oh, this looks su super aggressive, but really, I am in a position where I think they should be my route. Because he should not be able to hurt me a whole lot. And plus, I should be able to have speed. And poison should rack up, and. I should be able to cover my own rocks and you know stuff like that. I should be just real annoying to him. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Do you want to go for another round of rocks? Do you want to quake again? I'll, I'll happily enjoy both of them. Withdrawals, that's fair. Glisco? Victory Bell. Not sure. Or it depends, if it is... That should be my problem, though. Like, if it's specs, it definitely should sting. And it's not like I have a lot of really good switchings, either. Right, try to get my rocks up, hoping for... Yes, yeah, Giga Rain, I should not kill. Not even close. And it's Life Orbs, that works even better for me. Now, I do not want to waste Jeltis just yet. I do want to punish his switch-ins, but Tort is super solid. <laughs> Never thought I'd say it. Um, Kobo is kind of solid too, but I do want to save it because of the Ice Beam. Come on, Tort. Show him what we got. Shouldn't be a lot, but it should be honest work. You'd be damn glad I don't have Liquid Ooze. So right, if I were him, this is a this is the part I bring list. Right, check it out. Withdraws, it works for me. To glitch school and Look, it, it's not like Ice Fang is going to do a whole lot, but just that I get myself in there is going to be plenty. <laughs> Come on, Shenzhou. Because I think it has to have um, Defog. Like, anything else would not make sense. He's got to gauge me, right? Doesn't. That's going to hurt. Piece of shit. <laughs> Get baited, son. Get fucking baited. <laughs> oh, at this point, I don't even care. <laughs> you know what's up. You know exactly what's up. You did a terrible mistake. <laughs> Alright, you had a scissor. I knew that. Fucking sis. Alright, I'm clearly bullet punch range, so... For all intents and purposes, it would be nice going for a fire thing, but he's, he's gonna... He's gonna bullet punch here, and it'll be nothing to it. I 
Don't want to over predict too badly, right? Port, let's go. If you U turn, so be it, but bullet punch seems more likely. Ah, oh, he's a mad lad, though. He's a fucking mad lad. So, right, I hope it brings. Or, I really hope it doesn't bring Liskor because I can't kill it, right? Oh, if I only went for fire, I think I would have got him good. Yeah, he brings Gliss again. And. I am nowhere near close. Sunlight faded, that's fine. I got a hope on a roost. No, I can't beat it. I can't. Fuck. It's one of those things, you know, we almost had it. Oh, a surprise crit, I guess. It's not gonna do enough. Oop. Oh, fucker. <laughs> that was my best shot at it. Um, I'm still good. Um, but still, that's, that's frustrating. Now I can just quake. Right, Kobo. Should be able to stomach an earthquake at least. Let's see if he has a defog. He had. Shit. Right, rice beam in here. Hope it doesn't U-turn. Fuck. It's not gonna do anything, but still, fuck. Um, that's still manageable at to a fault. Let's see what it goes into. I need to get those rocks up again. I do recognize that Snorlax is probably a Pokemon you can't defeat that easily. And I think he realizes that as it switches out, which is definitely great. <laughs> right, we're like 10 minutes in, so I kinda need to speed up. Yeah, brings in Scissor. And question is whether or not he U-turns on this. Get it frozen, please. Fuck. Cause, consider he had defog, this has to be Soul Stance then. Yep, I'm Fire Blasting. Gotta hope for a real aggressive play. He could have Brick Break. Soul Stance, yeah. We need to connect this Norlax. You need to fucking do God's work right now. Do connect this. Yes! Piece of shit. And burn. Not. Nah. That worked great. <laughs> However, now we're forced to take a bullet punch to the face. That's gonna be um, less graceful. Ah, uh, that's cool. Alright. How much will a bullet punch do? U-turns. Oof. Probably gonna hurt too. Like, yeah, I was just about to say, like, that probably kills me. Alright. Alright. If I were him, I'd probably bring Gliscor or Magmortar. Trying to... Think of a scenario where I actually get up rocks. Yeah, it brings Gliss.
Yep, Kobo again. He has to U-turn, I think. By the way, why doesn't Napoleon have a roost? Oh, it's just such a nonsense of not having it. Yeah, he quakes. That's fair enough. Not gonna do a whole lot, really. He do not win this matchup. I already showcased... I think I quake here, because it's gonna U-turn. Probably the Gliscor. Hoping I do something stupid. Middle ground plays Earthquake, and... Yeah. I think it's like Torkoal, if it does, then... Uh, my Empoleon is pretty much wasted for this matchup. Magmortar, oh. Yeah, that, that's, that's way better. That's way better. I'll happily take this. Get wrecked, buddy. <laughs> okay. So yeah, now I guess uh, there's no point of actually trying to preserve Yeltis anyway. Um. Hmm. I mean, there is nothing we can do. We can offer a surprise focus blast now. You know, a nice miss would be. To to, um, to, put, to put it lightly, um, great. Focus Blast. Oh yeah, of course you connect that. Why wouldn't you? Oof. It's fine. It's fine. It's awful, but it's fine. Um, no life orb. So get him, Jax. I think Bullet Seed is... Actually, Rock Tomb is kind of a right. Switches out, goes into what? Torkoal. Alright. Kind of was hoping for Glisco. But yeah. Yeah, it's not going to turn out great for me either. I mean, this works. Um... But I kind of was hoping for Gliscor to come in so I can speed it down so I can go for Stealth Rocks or not not Stealth Rocks, I mean go for um, some of the pressure to pressure the Gliscor. That's a good neutral. Unfortunately for me, it's not going to be neutral enough for this guy, which is an absolute threat. And now I got to deal with it for a few turns and that's not pretty. And then there's a no-brainer play going for... Thing is, like I'm, I'm doing all right here. I think Weather Ball is not going to be overly powerful. I think I could be lying to myself. I'm absolutely lying to myself. Should be able to take another one, and I should be able to retaliate with my own Fire Blast. Let's hope that connects. I kind of hope he switches out, but then again, what would Victory Bell do without the Sun afterwards, right? Yeah, like you clearly sack it. Hopefully, I am graceful enough to survive it. Yes. And Fire Blast will connect, because that's what it does. And I'm gonna fucking fry this guy. <laughs> yes. Alright. So now it's all about how do we stomp a Gliscor, right? I mean, with Gliscor, we got Scissor. Which both, both are Snorlax fodder. Fortunately for me, uh, yeah, I'm just about to say. Like, I gotta sack it. Yeah, bullet punches, nothing to it. I really can't make, like, a call there. Um, in, my, in my mind, the only play I had was trying to make sure that it didn't get momentum. And roost that off, that would be pretty much my only play. So Thunderbolt is now better than Skull in this environment. Even though... Please don't bring it in, right? Yeah, absolute mad lad. That was a dumb play.
He's just gonna U-turn now. I think. Earthquakes, great. That works better. Yeah, bullet seed. It's gonna hurt anyway. You know, it doesn't kill, it's still gonna sting him quite a lot. If just to get a few hits in, it would be nice. Like, two would be the absolute awfulest scenario. Three? Yeah, that's alright. I just want the sun out of the way, really. You gotta think about this. I just want the sun to be gone. Like the sun is making sure right code isn't <clears throat> isn't working. Mag mortar. All right. <clears throat> He could be scarfed. Let's find out. He wasn't. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'll take it. No more sunlight. Yeah. Now we're in this. Now we're in the endgame. Without the sun, things get complicated for my opponents. Fortunately for me, it's not like I'm in a much better position. He should be able to roost this off this time. Let's see what he decides to do. U-turns. Absolute mad lad. And it does so much. And I can't for life of me remember. He had Gliscor, this guy, and one more Mon. Which he won't show, because I'm gonna definitely force myself to um, to scald here. If it decides to quake, so be it. But consider the damage. I gotta, I gotta consider him to be choice banded. Let's see, scald will do good damage. Can he roost it off? We won't find out. Now Gliscor is down for the count. Rock tubing, hoping for a switch out, yeah. Two, ditto. Oh. Yeah, you had this guy, I remember. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah, no priority, buddy. No priority. You make your mind. Have expecting a force palm. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> Looks like we won't see this game to the end. Which sucks. Crunch is kind of a good neutral, but let's go for a facade. Um, don't tell me wait out this timer. Come on, buddy. Let's try to wrap up this game. 